Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. This is hopefully the vlog where I come back to life. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping that by the end of this vlog, I will feel back to normal. I have got a very important um, appointment today up in Cheshire, which I absolutely cannot change, cannot move. So I have got myself out of bed, put clothing on, put makeup on, dried my hair, hopefully somewhat nicely, in an attempt to not look like a zombie. Um, I have done the absolute most when it comes to trying to make myself look alive when it comes to makeup. The Jones Road Shimmer Face Oil, and I feel like that's just given a little bit of healthiness to my complexion. Bobbi Brown Serum Radiance Mist, and I feel like the By Terry Bronzer is just the instant healthy look in a product, as well as some nice little brightening blush to give the illusion of a healthy flushed complexion when actually without makeup I look like a bit of a zombie. Today is day seven, um, but I feel of having the flu, but I feel like it's day two of recovery. I actually feel okay, just a little bit weak, so I'm probably gonna sleep both on the way there and the way back, but yeah, couldn't cancel this appointment today, wouldn't want to, it's very exciting. Um, I've also never been up to Cheshire before, so maybe we will have a little look around the shops. Um, my friend Rory loves the Real Housewives of Cheshire and he was like, Josie, you have to let me know if the high street is like it is in the programme. I don't know, because I've never watched the programme, but I'll send him some videos. So yeah, we've got a two and a half hour car journey. I will probably sleep <laughs> for most of the journey, but I will bring you along with me. I'm gonna spray a bit of perfume. Don't know if I can even smell anything, but... Oh, I can. <laughs> That's an improvement. Okay, let's hit the road. And just like that, we are home again. It is now half past six and I did not show you anything from today. It was a lot of driving, a good two and a half, excuse me, two and a half hours up there. Um, a really beautiful area, but there will be a few more occasions that I can show you around. It was a very productive day. Excuse me, do you want to go outside? Come on, come on. Sorry, slight distraction. Charlie finishing his sports massage. Luckily, we have got a HelloFresh for dinner this evening because I cannot be bothered to think of a recipe from scratch and we do not have that much, aside from the HelloFresh, in the fridge at the moment. <laughs> chicken korma is actually my favourite. No, <laughs> chicken korma. If, chicken if, if, if Dickie was a chicken uh, in one dish, his would be butter chicken and Dexter's would be... Lambuna. His would be, his would be uh, no, his would be... Um... What do you think about Marbunas? <laughs> Dexy would be like a, a like fine Persian elite level yeah. curry. So we talked about our sponsor for the last week. <laughs> Introducing our sponsor for the last <laughs> week. Lemsip Max, Lemsip honey and Max. ginger. Honey and ginger. Jeez. Anyway, I'm very grateful that we have got HelloFresh in the fridge. It arrived yesterday because we have not been supermarket shopping in a very long time, have nothing else in the fridge, but obviously HelloFresh is your entire meal in the little packets, in the brown paper bag, you don't need to think about it. It's also a great way of sticking to having homemade meals. Now that January's out of the way, I know a lot of us maybe have lost a little bit of that mojo for eating healthily, but it's always really lovely to have homemade meals and HelloFresh is a super easy way to do it. What I personally love is that you get these recipe cards and if you're the kind of person that likes to dream about your evening meal all day long, then this is what you can think about all day. I have been thinking about this butter chicken recipe for the entire car journey, both there and back. And I'm really excited that it is a rapid meal, which means hopefully, I can cook it in 20 minutes. One of my five a day, medium spice. Um, so we've got mustard seeds, North Indian spice mix, tomato puree, oh, chicken I only stock really paste. Like the South Indian one. <laughs> Such a plonker. 
And then on the back you get your step-by-step -step instructions. And every other time that I've done these meals, they are super duper easy. And oh, I just can't even look at it without my mouth watering. Other ones we've got for the rest of the week, we've got the ultimate chicken satay skewers, which also look amazing. And it's really hard to buy. If you were buying just for yourself or if you don't normally like cooking with spices then you'd have to buy an entire spice jar for these kinds of recipes or just not have the right flavors whereas with these you get the exact perfect amount so you don't get any wastage um and it means you always have the right spices i also got and by the way the choices that they have on the website are amazing everything just sounds delicious goat's cheese and pea springtime risotto which i think will be amazing but tonight i think we're both just in the mood for comfort food right i am ravenous do you know what dickens, dickens are having what are they having dalesford game and pheasant <laughs> game and pheasant 50 percent lean game are they having a posher dinner than we pheasant, are eight percent garden vegetables they i love how the posher. dogs are having game and pheasant and we're having chicken curry I know. <laughs> and then i also chose the whipped goat's cheese bruschetta i think this is actually a side dish but again, sounded delicious. Oh, did I get two chicken satays? Maybe. I don't know. It's your favourite, so it makes sense. It is my favourite, but I don't think I've ever made butter chicken before. I no, do you remember we did? We tried that guy that you follow on Instagram and it took forever. No, no, so the what? yeah, the recipe I made was from the Instagram. It was fantastic, but it took forever. This yeah. is a much speedier recipe. Yeah. Um, I would say the big positive of these HelloFresh recipes versus some of their competitors mm. are they're a lot more honest about the time that yeah. it takes. Mm. I, there are some other um, services similar to HelloFresh that I also do really like, but the timings are always a little bit off. optimistic. Um, so yeah. that would be the uh, that would be the one real positive from my perspective. Mm. But it's also great because obviously people know that I love my cooking. Yeah. I do love HelloFresh, but also I think HelloFresh for you is great mm. because it gives you that sort of confidence yeah. in, in your cooking. I love cooking, but I love following instructions. Yeah, yeah. so it's good and you've learned, already learned quite a lot from using HelloFresh. Mm. I have. So the instructions look fairly simple. It's actually a ginger rice darling, which sounds quite nice. Right. I'm gonna get cooking. Peel and halve the ginger. Right, so we've got most of our ingredients in here. Let's see what we got. With the ginger, I think microplane you will take the first time. Charlie is doing the honours and serving it up. It smells absolutely delicious. Of course, as always, we do have a discount code for HelloFresh, which is 60FASHION, and that will get you 60% off your first HelloFresh box and then 25% off your next couple of HelloFresh boxes, which is very, very generous. And if you would like to, there is a little QR code on the screen here, which you can scan, which makes it super easy to make the most of the discount code. And I believe this time, the discount code is not only for new HelloFresh users. So if you have tried HelloFresh in the past and you want to reactivate it, then you can also use that discount code. So very generous of HelloFresh. Thank you to them for offering that. What are your presentation tips, darling? That's your one. Oh gosh, presentation mm -hmm. for food is not my forte. No? I yeah. tried to do yours nicely. It looks beautiful. For it's a, a good sized portion, food. isn't it? Yeah, this is actually quite a lot of food. That's a lot um, of food. I'm so hungry. This smells and looks and delicious. And what's nice is, yes, okay, there's butter in here, so it's not, not that much not though. Healthy, healthy. But we actually decided not to put the sugar in. Mm. I think a tiny bit of sugar mentioned. Yeah. And we've added the spinach. And I think that's the nice thing about HelloFresh because 
gives you the ideas and provides you with like mm. nine, well, because it provides you with all the ingredients, but you can always, of course, add whatever else you've got in your fridge. Whatever's in the fridge, whatever needs using. Well, and it's got ginger, it's got garlic, lots of things which should be good for us and our flu. Do you want more sauce? Yes, the more sauce, the better. Mmm, I cannot wait to dig in. Yum! certainly look a lot more alive than I feel. I think maybe overdid it a little bit yesterday. Today didn't get out of bed until about half past nine and still in my pyjamas, although I have had a nice bath. Charlie has been very encouraging, encouraging me to actually get up, get moving, get dressed, have a bath. It's now midday and haven't really achieved anything. I have just got this, I just feel this insane weight of things that I need to do on my shoulders. I'm so behind with work. Today is day nine of this flu. Um, had to cancel another full day of meetings and there are some meetings I really need to go to tomorrow so I think I just need to spend another day a little bit more chilled. I'm going to take my laptop downstairs and just at least try and do some emails maybe snooze in between but yeah it started to feel like I was on the mend yesterday but today just feel absolutely exhausted. Do feel better from that bath though um, and I thought just psychologically putting some makeup on would maybe make me feel a little bit better. Once again I apologise for the quality of these vlogs, this one and the last one. Hopefully these will be the only two rubbish vlogs because I know it's no fun listening to someone talking about being ill but I forgot how much I loved this. This is the Chantecaille Just Skin Tinted Moisturiser and considering how ill I am, I think it's done a really nice job of making my complexion look fairly alive. Um, they sent over another of their complexion products, their Oil Free Gel Foundation, which I've heard very good things about, so looking forward to trying that. What else did I just put on? Um, a nice Dior blush to bring a little bit of colour. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to get dressed, maybe make myself a bowl of pasta again. I've got a lot of posts I need to unbox and things like that, but I think this is going to be another day of taking it very, very easy. It's actually amazing how these little boys know that their mummy's not feeling very well. Dexie has been so loving. You have just been such a good little doctor, haven't you? And you've been my little court jester. Keeping mummy's spirits up and providing lots of cuddles. But Dexy just knows. You do, you just know. You're so clever. I do need to access my laptop today though for Dexy. Would that be allowed? Would that be allowed? Mm -hmm. Thank you for looking after your mummy. I'm so grateful also been drinking quite a lot of juices from Plenish. Very well-timed delivery. This is a ginger shot. I'm going to actually put that in the fridge and get that a little bit cooler. Um, but this is literally the only nutrients that I have been consuming. Aside from the dinner last night, that was nice and nutritious. But prior to that, it's all just been plain pasta and butter croissants. 
I just grabbed this one from the fridge. Carrot, ginger, orange, and I think that's about it, but I was quite impressed with this. 100% organic fruit and veg, 100% um, recycled bottle. So yeah, very impressed with that. I'm gonna have a slurp of this one, get some goodness back into my body.